Hello again, friends. Joe here, once again. Taking a look at some more new GBF characters. Let's just get straight into it. It's Flash Gala, Flash Gala, middle of the month. Oh, wait, is that... Is that the, uh... The summon slash... Tier... Is it tier 1 or Tier 2 raid? The Lich. I'm guessing so. I'm guessing they just... Made that into a character. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, that's the weapon that drops from, from that raid. So, huh, that's interesting. Pain and suffering on Moxis. <laughs> cool. Alright, cool. Elmo finally got his uh, his SSR, his SSR unit. I'm sure fans of, fans of him will be excited. He's a pretty cool character. About time he got an SSR because he has like what two or three SR units at the moment. So yeah, let's uh, have a quick check. Oh, hello. Got Valentine's units. We have Valentine's units, and they're all on rate up as well. Wow. Okay. Cool. Right then, let's take a wee look at the... Oh, Lich is grand? Okay. It's been a while since Dark got a, a new grand character. Anyway, let's take a quick look at these weapons. Elmot's weapon is a fire staff. Just to fire attack on Ogi, big attack, small crit, and supplement crit. Interesting. Um, I'm not sh is pri is Agni crit a thing? I'm not sure to be honest. So I don't know whether that would actually be. I mean, I'm assuming if it is a thing, then that would be a a pretty decent weapon to use. But I'm not sure if it is. I'm pretty sure Agni is just still basically just all in on Exabas. Anyway, new Dark Grand weapon. Blood Sacrifice effect to MC. What is that? Unworldly Ogi as well. Supplement Dark Allies damage. Boost to attack based on how many axes are equipped. Boost to Dark Allies. Okay. That's interesting. Dark Axes. The only ones I can think of off the top of my head are... Uh, Shalom's weapon. For... For Hades. And the... The Magna Celeste Axe. There's probably some obvious ones that I'm completely like going over my head, but that is mm, that's certainly an interesting weapon to say the least. I do not have enough knowledge to be able to say one way or the other whether this is a good weapon or. Or not. This could be anything from fantastic to absolute trash. I don't... I can't say. <laughs> it seems pretty good if you're using a bunch of axes. I just... Like I said, I can't... Can't seem to remember what axes are actually used in Dark. Anyway, let's look at these characters. Let's take a look at Elmot first. We'll save our new grand character for last. Okay, so he's fire. He's usually fire. It's Ogi, massive fire damage to a foe, boost to all allies' attack, CA damage, and CA damage cap stackable. Okay, I don't think we've seen that before. Interesting. Skill 1, 700% fire damage to a foe, burn effect, remove one buff. When Elmo has 10 or, more deb 10 or more buffs, activates twice. So right off the bat, this would have been very good if this character had released like a week ago. Since... Fire Guild War just ended, and the Nightmare Boss would love to give itself like three different buffs at once. So it sure would have been nice to have. Skill 2, fire damage, 5 hit fire damage to random foes, uplift effect to all allies, boost to multi attack rate. Is that. I'm guessing that's not to all, to all allies. I'm assuming it's just the uplift to all allies, and the multi attack rate is just to himself. Skill 3, fill 1 charge damage on a foe, activate caster's next charge attack twice. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. 
A fool uses special attack, activates Searing Scorcher. That's okay. So yeah, so you can you can do a double a double uh, uh, debuff removal uh, buff remove on this one, and he can do it whenever whenever the boss Ogies. And I'm assuming when it's activated from this, this will still activate twice if you have the right amount of buffs. Boost all allies, fire dam CA damage and CA damage cut based on the number of buffs, so... He seems like... <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are going to wish that he was... That he had been released, like, last gala, just before Fire Guild War started, because... He seems to be really, really good at just clearing buffs on the boss. Which Guild War bosses love to do. Like the, the old cat nightmare boss this past Cold War, love to give itself a dodge rate boost, boost buff, which was annoying, as well as a pretty chunky attack and bonus damage buff, which, in my experience anyway, during Guild War, would just could just like wipe your entire front line if you like triple attacks. So having a character like like Elmot to like consistently help get rid of them would have been super useful. But yeah, he seems. Otherwise, he seems like a, a decent character. He seems mostly focused on on buffing your the rest of your team's uh, uh, Ogi damage. So yeah, he seems he seems fine. Not super busted. Would have been nice for Guild War. And if you're doing if you're playing an Ogi setup in Fire, he seems like he could be a, a decent fit. With his buffs for it. So yeah, he seems he seems fine. I'm glad that uh, Elmot fans who've been waiting years for his SSR have got in a not terrible unit. Like, say, another male long-awaited SSR unit that came out relatively recently. <laughs> Alright. So we have Lich, who is the new Dark Grand character. Interesting that they literally just introduced a humanoid Fedio, literally during the last event, and then gave the newest Dark Grand character to a random old raid that they've turned into a humanoid character. But anyway, Take a look at their kit. Ogi. Massive dark damage to full. Delay effect. One turn cut to Lich's skill cooldowns. Okay, cool. Skill one. Six hit dark damage to random foes. Death's grace effect to dark allies. Convert damage taken to light damage. Five turn death's grace. Okay. Uh, I was going to say this is odd considering that she, you'd mostly already be fighting light allies. But, you know, maybe... Maybe you want to bring her to a null raid, like, you know, Fasan, Beelzebub, Belial. Well, this would, this, this would be useful for that. Skill 2, hit to all foes and allies. Light attack and dark defense. Poison effect, putrefy effect. Okay, so... I think I see where this is going. Skill 3, undead advent effect. The cast of can't recast. When knocked out, revives. Impurity effect one time can't be removed. Uh, what is this? Don't know what this is. Support skills. Can't restore HP. Takes damage every turn. Boost to attack, defense, and CA specs. Deals multi-attacks. Oh, that's that's double attacks, not triples. Converts some turn-based damage to HP recovery. So that's, this is very similar to um, Grand Sandalphon. I don't remember if he has... The, the attack and multi-attack buffs, but the whole... Like, he can't restore HP, and then he takes damage, but then that damage is effectively a heal because he converts that some of the turn-based damage to, to HP recovery. So, presumably, she works... Did I say she? Is that she? Let's say... According to the wiki, Glitch is female, okay. You know, I'm pretty sure the original 
Skeleton Boy Lich Raid was male. Definitely had a male voice, but uh but yeah anyway. So So yeah, assuming that these this part of it works exactly the same as Grand Sandalfon, she by default will have a turn based heal. But then without I'm assuming then that without this, any other debuffs like this it won't account for all of it, so it will eventually become actual damage. Because it doesn't it doesn't it converts some turn based damage, but not all turn based damage is how I'm assuming it works. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's you know that's pretty good. Passive two, when any allies are debuffed at turn end, dark damage to all foes, boost to Lich's charge bar, based on number of debuffs, hit number increases and effect enhanced. Max ten times. Okay. So my only qu lingering question is what is this? So I'm gonna take a quick check. It's not on the wiki yet, so I'm gonna look elsewhere. Okay, so according to a comment I read on Reddit, GameWith apparently says that uh, impurity drains 10% HP with a 3000 cap and 10% charge bar per turn. Comment doesn't say how long this lasts, I and mean, it says one time, but I'm assuming that means that one time, as in this skill, is a thing you can only use one time. I didn't say so, and not one turn. So I'm assuming this lasts multiple turns, but the comment doesn't give a number, and the game itself doesn't give a number, so... So yeah, but... So that basically means that her auto nuke from from this will negate the charge bar drain, assuming this assuming this counts as two debuffs because it's a HP drain and the charge bar drain. So if that's two debuffs, then just that this alone will negate the charge bar drain. And then you know she has she has this as well to help mitigate the either mitigate some of or just completely completely negate the the turn based thing and turn it into a heal. So So yeah, her her kit is very interesting. I guess she basically debuffs the entire party but then gives them death's grace to negate the the turn based debuffs. And then she gets and then she can like inherently has Death Grace built into her into her kit, and then she gets a bunch of a bunch of nukes and charge bar buffs at the end of turn when your team is debuffed. So I I can't tell whether she's actually good or not, but she looks fun. <laughs> like she's she's not bad. I definitely don't think she's bad by any stretch of the imagination. I'd even go as far to say that I think she she seems pretty good. I just, you know, I I don't know whether she'll be like top tier, super amazing, broken, like a lot of other dark characters. But she definitely seems good. She seems, I think she just, she seems as she seems like she has just a super interesting and unique kit, which is cool to see. I still think it's weird how they just they just gender bent Lich into a random grand character when they literally just introduced a character that could also be a, a dark grand, not even a month ago. But uh, but yeah, I don't really what, know what else to say. Like she just she seems like a character that can just dump out a bunch of bunch of nukes. Probably probably gets her Ogi off pretty quickly as well because of because of this. Which will cut her cooldowns, which can give her more uptime on these debuffs, which basically are negated from the rest of her kit. She, yeah, she seems she seems really interesting. I don't I'm not quite sure what to make of it other than that I like it. 
just because it, just because it's so unique. That's uh. But yeah, we'll we'll see how how she, how she she shakes up in the grand scheme of things in time to come, I guess. But thanks for watching, and until next time, peace out. <laughs>